Today you join me on the banks of the river and we're fishing the bollow in search of hopefully some nice roach. Um, certainly when we've come here in the past we've had nice roach. Um, for everyone that um, is on the channel regular, they'll know I put a video up every Friday at 6 o'clock. But if you're new around here, my name's Danny and every 6 o'clock on a Friday I'd, I've been putting a video up for the last two years of all manner of fishing. Um, so well worth a subscribe if, you, if this is your first ever video that you're watching. Um, so today, as I said, we're going to be fishing the bollow and hopefully going to be catching some roach. So let's have a look at the setup. Setup for today, my 17 foot um, carbon active rod. Got that down to a Shimano Tecum reel, four pound, four ounce float fish. And what we'll have a look at now is the terminal tackle that we're going to be using on the session today. So the float for today um, is a three gram bollow. Um, the reasons for that is it's quite a deep swim. We're looking between 10 and 14 foot deep today. So a nice um, positive float. Um, going down the line, I've got it to a two and a half gram Olivet, a size 18 hook, and that's with one seven Bayer Pearl on for a hook length for today as you see it's quite a tight swim so we'll be standing up bait tray um, well if they don't all escape be two pints of red maggot Cheshire particle hemp I've also got some tears if the better roach do turn up and that's the swim that we're looking at um, it's probably about five six foot deep to about there and then it just drops off and we'll be fishing round about where that scutch is there that little breeze on the swim uh, and it's round about 14 foot deep there so my markers for today because it's pulling through quite a bit as you can see on the top there so my marker for today I'm going to be putting me maggots in line with that tree there the, the lighter colour tree and my hemp is going to be going just round about this line here I want to get the fish as close to me as I possibly can um, so Hopefully that by the time it gets to there, you've got all that to go through where the fish will be picking up the the um, the hemp. That's the plan. Let's see if we can get a fish on the bank. And there we go. First fish of the day, small little roach. And um, with the conditions like they are today, there's a bit of water in. The fact that you can get one fish means you can get more. And that's just come on the maggot and um, third cast down so a great start i just looked in to the first better fish of the day been quite a small stamp so far but this is the first better one looks like a decent roach right and there we go the first better fish of the day a lovely lovely plump roach this type of fishing it's all about you know keeping the bait going in being accurate with it and keeping running down the same line and trying to get them fish onto your line of bait it's a, as you can see quite a wide river and the shoals will be quite you know quite spread out so what I'm doing is I'm casting in feeding and then just putting a pinch of hemp in every two or three trots down but the key is you know is even when you're not getting bites is to keep that feed going in because on a river it only takes a second for the shoal to move in
and there we go a lovely roach on the bollow um been a tough morning this morning they haven't been um consistently on the line i've had to work for them but sometimes them sessions are the most enjoyable where you've got to work for the bites hopefully they get the reds down and we can start putting a few together but yeah a lovely fish There we go, a lovely, lovely roach. I don't know if you can see the, the float there in the middle of the screen. Um, I'll just pull it back, just look there. But you can you see just how much slower, it's actually going upstream a bit. Um, how much slower that float is actually going through the, the swim now. With just that upstream wind. It's almost half the pace at which the float's going through the swim. Before, going through quite quick. But it just means that the bait just goes through that swim just a bit slower. Now it doesn't always work, you know, on days where they want it going through natural, this can kill it. But sometimes it can just really bring them on. And like I said, that wind blowing upstream really helping the swim and presentation. Uh, one or two better fish. It probably won't make up um, for the poor morning in the final net, but it's just good to have a few fish that you need the net for. And there's another one on the very next cast, just showing how that changing conditions can just change your swim. Right, so we'll call that one the last fish of the day. Um, it's not been an easy day on the bank, but we'll have a look at that final net and see how we've done. Right, there's the final net of fish. A few nice roach in there on the bollow. I say it wasn't an easy day on the bank. A um, few bites towards the end and a better fish did come on, but an enjoyable day. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. <laughs>